Hi everyone, it's Jack from Jack's English and today we're going to answer that big question that everyone asks, what is my English level? So prepare yourselves and let's start today's class. Today's lesson is a big one because it's answering a really big question. What is my English level? Now, in order to answer this question, we're going to do a speaking test together that I have designed. We'll split this lesson into three parts. Firstly, I will explain my scorecard to you. Then you will take the 10 question test. And finally, I will give you my model answers, the native speakers answers so you can compare. Before we start, please know this is not a perfect test and the results would not be official results. It just gives you an idea of your English level. This is the test I use with new students that come to my academy. This will give you a general idea of your English conversation level. And most importantly, you will know your strengths and weaknesses and what to work on next. So let's start our first part of this lesson, the scorecard. In order to fill in the scorecard, I recommend you record your answers, then listen to them and compare to my answers. So let's take a look at the scorecard. Now there are five areas that I want you to look at, as you can see here. And in each area, you should give yourself a score out of three, simply zero to three. This makes it very easy for you to score yourself. In the first section, we're looking at listening. You will hear the question and then hear it again. So how was your listening? Could you hear it straight away or did you have to re-listen to the question? Then we score content. How was your answer? Did you give enough detail? Did you use specific vocabulary for that question? Grammar accuracy looks at the accuracy of your grammar. So did you make many mistakes and did you use the right grammar for the question? Then we look at grammar range. How many grammar structures did you use? Did you use a nice variety? Finally, fluency. And in this case, I mean your pronunciation, your intonation, stress. Did you sound fluent? Did you sound comfortable speaking English? So write these five down on a piece of paper and this will be your scorecard. Now we'll go into the test section where I will ask you each question once naturally and then a second time slow down with subtitles. So are you ready? Prepare your recorder and let's get started. Tell me your typical daily routine. Tell me your typical daily routine. Do you read? If so, what are you reading nowadays? Do you read? If so, what are you reading nowadays? What did you do this morning? What did you do this morning? What were you doing at 10 p.m. last night? What were you doing at 10 p.m. last night? Have you ever traveled abroad? Have you ever traveled abroad? What have you been spending most time on recently? What have you been spending most time on recently? Once you finish this test, what are you going to do? Once you finish this test, what are you going to do? Where do you think you'll be living 10 years from now? Where do you think you'll be living 10 years from now? If you won a million dollars, what would you do? If you won a million dollars, what would you do? Finally, tell me about your regrets. What do you wish you had done more when you were young? Tell me about your regrets. What do you wish you had done more when you were young? So that was the speaking test. Well done if you were able to answer all the questions. They got harder as you went through. So if you couldn't understand the last questions, don't worry. They were aimed at more advanced students. 
As you could probably tell, there was a large variety of grammar in the questions, and that was on purpose to see if you could understand different grammar structures. So in the next section, let's take a look at how I would answer these questions, and then you can compare your recording to me. I normally wake up around 6 a.m. and have a breakfast for around about 30 minutes. Then I get ready for work and leave the house at seven o'clock. I get to my office, do some lesson preparation, and then I normally teach all day until around six o'clock. Then I have dinner around six o'clock, which normally is something like a fried rice or maybe a salad, and then go home to spend the evening at home. I have the evening to read books and watch TV, and then I often go to bed at 11 o'clock. That's a typical day for me, but it can change a lot. I don't read a lot, but I do read, and the book I'm reading nowadays is Atomic Habits. Atomic Habits is a book about building good habits and getting rid of your bad habits, and this is something I really need to work on. This morning I did my normal daily routine, but I had a little bit more time so I went for a run in the morning and then came back and had some good fruit juice. So I'm feeling really healthy today. Well, it's quite hard for me to remember, but at 10 o'clock last night, I guess I was using my mobile phone and probably watching some YouTube or something like that. Yes, I've traveled a lot actually. I've been to Thailand, Singapore, Australia, quite a few countries in Europe. So I have quite a lot of experience traveling and I hope to do a lot more in the future. Well, recently I've had quite a bit more free time. So I've been using that time to learn more video editing and writing more contents for teaching, of course. And then also trying to spend a bit more time on my health. I've been going to the gym and particularly going running by the river as much as I can. Well, once I finish this test, I'm gonna eat some dinner because right now it's five o'clock, I'm getting hungry and I really fancy a big meal. Oh, that's a really difficult question, but 10 years from now, I think I'll be living in England. Right now I'm living in Korea, but I think in 10 years I'll be living in a nice country house in England, maybe with a few dogs, and having the life that I really want, more of a country lifestyle. So yes, in 10 years, living in England in the country. If I won a million dollars, I would buy a new car for sure. I would also buy a new house, my dream house. I think a million dollars would buy my dream house. And I'd just have some good food. I'm a real foodie, as a lot of my students know, so I'd spend some of that money on food. Any remaining money would probably just go in the bank. Well, I'm not someone who has many regrets, but, you know, looking back, I would say I wish I'd spent more time learning about finance. When I was young, you know, through my 20s, I spent a lot of time just spending money and not saving. So now when I look back, I wish I'd learned about finance and just built up some savings for my later life. Okay, so you've taken the test, you've listened to my answers, you have your recording. So now you should compare your recording to mine and then try to give yourself a score out of three. It could be zero, one, two, or three in each of the five sections that are on your scorecard. Once you have your score, you should have a score out of 15. If you are between zero and five, you are a beginner. Between six and 10, intermediate. Between 11 and 15, advanced. And if you're advanced, congratulations. Do remember, this is not an official test. This is something that I use in my academy and it's worked well for determining roughly the level of a student. If you find it hard to decide your score, try and get a friend, someone who's a bit higher level than you, or your teacher, 
to determine what your score is out of three for each section. Well, now you know your strengths and weaknesses in English. So whatever your weaknesses are, don't forget to check out my other content. If you're struggling with your fluency, take a look at my shadowing videos. If you're struggling with grammar, look at my grammar explanation videos. I've made plenty in the past year. Thanks very much for watching this video. I really hope it was useful for you. Don't forget, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I will check and get back to you. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and have a wonderful week. See you soon. Goodbye.